let's compare earlier we were having a sap methodology right now we have activate so let's compare asap versus activate and let's see what are the differences what was there in asap methodology which is accelerated sap and what is there in activate let's compare both of them you will also see that why sap has moved from asap to activate Now the first thing in a SAP methodology is the SAP methodology has been created with a methodology which works on the waterfall. First thing is that this a SAP methodology is only project methodology. However, activate is complete. project delivery framework that is one of the first difference within the methodology if we talk about as have talk about your waterfall methodologies don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos Okay, ASAP support your waterfall methodology. What is a waterfall methodology, guys? In waterfall methodology, we have one project, one phase of the project. When it's finished, we have second phase, we have third phase, and we have fourth phase. So phases of a project would be in the form of a waterfall. That is a waterfall methodology. First, you would be having your prepare, design, build, test, cut over, go live. that kind of phases would be there and each phase definitely it would be having little bit of overview little, little bit of overlap between them but highly they are basically in the structure where when first phase finishes then you start the second phase okay and activate activate is what activate is waterfall or some another or uh, second methodology we talk about agile activate supports waterfall or agile both yes both is the correct answer with activate you can run your project as a waterfall methodology that's basically your choice you you can choose whether you want to run a project with the waterfall or you want to run a project with the agile so you can run with waterfall or you can also run with agile both has been supported in activate okay now now there is another difference is there which sap says is as a difference because sap says as a difference i will put it also else as a difference but i don't uh, agree much on that point so asap has three phases so asap has not three sorry basically asap is a has a five phase of project activate asap said that it's a four phases project now this difference i will just mark it as a difference for a name sake because the phases at the high level for a project remain same activate says that it would be your uh, uh it would be starting from your the first phase is actually your prepare then explore realize deploy 
these are the four phases which activate says that it would be there but before prepare there is a phase discover and after deploy there would be a run but at high level they said the project activity would be happening in these four phases however in a sap it would be prepared design build test cut over so that would be the five phases another difference between a sap and activate would be a sap is basically built in focus of you know that uh, uh, in for focus of implementations of uh, erp or you can say that ecc and that is also on premise based on focusing that uh, yeah, product a sap methodology was prepared however now activate is a general generic framework which can support your on premise deployments it can support your on premise deployments and it can also support your on cloud apart from on premise on cloud it can also support your conversions it can also support your greenfield implementation it can also support your hybrid implementations it can support c4c it can support success factors it can also supports implementation of s4 han so multiple things can be handled with activate don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos another difference in asap blueprint phase has been highlighted and would be key part the creation of the blueprint right in activate methodology because it need to support the agile one blueprint part is not mandatory now many of you will say that it's just a name change now earlier we were doing a blueprint now we will be doing a explore phase within the explore phase we will be doing a multiple different kind of activities which we do it when we do the blueprinting but the creating of the blueprint documentation would not be uh, uh, is not part of activate although again it doesn't mean that you go to a client and client says that okay we need to implement sap s4 hana and we are using activate and then client says that i need a blueprint document and you say that blueprint document cannot be created because we are implementing through sap s4 hana again activate is just a framework we need to be check as a reference if your client typically wants a blueprint document which was available in ecc implementation the same way they want to have a blueprint document to be get available they want to do the blueprint thing that can be done you can include it as a deliverable in your project phase so you need to adopt to the whatever the uh, till what extent you can uh, you can adopt to activate you can do it and if there is any modifications required in activate you can also do that you can add your deliverables you can also remove the deliverables another part is apart from the uh, the uh, a uh, blueprint your documentations in asap was having a significant importance we need to have a documents created at each phase at every place we need to create different kind of documentation and that that documentation was also part of the gate checklist or the quality pass checklist in the activate because it follow the agile framework or agile methodologies rather than documentations system readiness is system readiness has more importance as simple as that 
if I'll just tell you, in a SAP methodology, if we do the blueprinting phase, which is our design phase, we say that, okay, 30% project is over. We have completed the design. Or 25% project is over. Our progress is 25%. Our progress can be defined even on the documentations also. Activate doesn't allow you to define your progress only on the documentations. Activates force you or activates guides you to measure your performance of a project to define the progress of the project based on the system readiness. Not only that you have created a, uh, created a design documentation, a PPT and a Word document has been created and based on that you will say that 20% project is completed. It's not allowed until unless your system is not ready, Activate doesn't allow you to show the project progresses. Okay, so there are a lot of differences there. You would you would find the more and more differences when we move ahead and we discuss uh, more about differences between uh, more about the activate. Uh, you will find the more uh, differences. But I will take a quick pause here to check uh, if you have any question on this slide or previous two slides. If you have any question, you can ask it now. Before don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. We proceed ahead. The blueprinting is okay. I will answer in two two ways. First, my voice is from Activate. The voice from Activate is uh, the blueprinting is not mandatory. So as per Activate, we don't do the blueprinting. We do the another activities which I will explain you when we go into the explore phase. We go to the fit gap, we do the fit gap analysis, we do the fit gap workshops, we prepare the process flow diagrams and those describe your full uh, business process. But as such that blueprinting phase has the name has been removed. Now the another voice is the implementations which we have done for SAP S4 HANA. So when we do the implementations, because all of the clients and the people are working in the earlier, they have done the ECC implementation and multiple implementation. And in their project and in their organization, blueprint document is the critical and crucial document. And in all of the projects which we have done for S4 HANA, whether we followed Agile or we followed Activate, we still created the blueprint documents for our clients.